All right, Maddie. So how long have you been a police officer specifically here, I guess? Uh, approximately nine months now. Yeah. Approximately nine months. And this is your first time doing that? Yep, it is. Okay. What, where did that stem from? Like, what, at what age did you know you wanted to be a police officer and what, what made you want to be one? Um, it didn't really stem from any certain age. It just kind of came about. Um, I was actually going to school for elementary education and decided that just wasn't for me. Um, I always wanted to be in the military, always wanted to serve my community, and so this was kind of the next best route for me. Um, I have a brother that's in law enforcement as well, and just hearing his stories uh, really kind of inspired me to go this route as well. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Where, where's your brother in law? Or um, where does he do? Yeah, he's over in Burley County as a deputy. Okay. Yeah. So did you grow up around here, or where'd you, where'd you go to school? Um, I grew up in Bismarck, North Dakota. Okay. Mm -hmm. What brought you to Fargo, the job? Or? Um, nope, I went to MSUM in Moorhead, um, was going to school there, and then just kind of lived above the Fargo-Moorhead area and decided to stick around. Very cool. So is it just you and your brother, or do you have other siblings? Uh, it's my, I have two older brothers, yeah. Two older brothers. Yeah. Okay. So the other one's not law enforcement? Nope, he's not. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So is your, is your family still in Bismarck, too? Yep, they are. They are. Okay, very cool. And so, and so how old are you? I'm 22. You were 22. Yeah. You were young. Yeah. Um, so, what kind of like the people you work with? Are you one of the youngest? Yeah, I might even be the youngest one in the department. I'm not sure, but definitely one of the youngest for sure. So you kind of got into the force during a time. I don't want to call it like a climate, but you know all of the stuff that was happening in Minneapolis. I mean, was it scary? Is that something that like impacted you when you were deciding to join? I mean, obviously not. We're still here. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew going into this profession that there's definitely a, an atmosphere around law enforcement. Um, but I, when I started the police academy, my second week of the academy is kind of when all these current events started happening. And it didn't really um, alter my decision in any way. Uh, I think that the community is, has a right to have high expectations of the police department. And so I wanted to be able to provide that for my community as well. And I'm, so it's nine months in, um, when you're, you know, going to pull someone over or do a traffic stop or just these everyday kind of tasks that you're set on, what goes through your mind? Um, I guess it's, I'm really not sure. It's just kind of, I get maybe almost complacent, but uh, it's just my job at this point. I just go about it day to day like I would any other um, incident or uh, call. I just, it's normal for me now and just to act calm and treat people with respect and dignity and hope they treat me the same. Awesome. And I'm sure like all the training and stuff you guys do probably make you feel really prepared. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And it definitely helped going through the department's police academy as well. And, um, you know, I went through the PTO program for multiple months. I'm, I think it was four months. And so uh, I definitely felt prepared to go out on my own um, when that time came. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. You can stay right where you are. This is just like a TV. And so, even when you see things like the most recent thing, um, Kim, I can't, is Potter, is that her last name? Um, seeing stuff like that, I mean, what, what goes through your mind, especially as a young woman, and seeing a situation, you know, so unfortunate like that? Uh, I guess I just think of, you know, the way that I would react in that situation, whether it was right or wrong, I'm not going to go on, um, on a tangent about that, but, uh, you know, our minds can play some crazy tricks on us, and uh, that's just kind of the the gist of the job. I mean, we go through some very stressful situations and you just got to learn how to cope with that both mentally and emotionally on a healthy manner. And so recruiting challenges, um, and maybe Jess could speak even more to that, but um, I've heard have been, you know, there have been some challenges because of the situation that we're in and like, you know, it's it's so hard sometimes, you know, it's like people are treating police this way. I just think it's, it's so sad, but for young women and even men who look at you and say, maybe this is something that I want to do, what would you tell them if they have an interest in doing this? Like, yeah. What would you say to inspire them to keep going for it? Um, I mean, it's a great job. I love every minute of it. I love waking up every day, not really knowing what my day is going to consist of. That's another huge reason why I wanted to be a part of this job. It, I wake up every morning excited to go to work. Um, I get to meet a lot of new people every day. I've been in situations and seen things that I've never seen before, both good and bad. Um, but I think that it just keeps me 
kind of humble in a sense, just to know that there is a lot of good in the world and that I can also put that out there by being in this profession. Is it, what's the best part of the job? Oh man, um, probably just like being able to interact with the community and being a positive influence in the community or trying to be anyway. Um, having the ability to just step out and talk with anyone at any time if I want to just interact with anyone. Um, I really love that part of the job. And this is the last one I'm being asked to ask mm -hmm. this. If there was something that would turn you away from being a police officer, I mean, what would it take? Is there anything that you could say that would really make you want to not be a police officer? Uh, I mean, I really don't know right now. Um, you know, the schedule is tough sometimes. I have a family at home, so I guess if there was one thing that could over time make me uh, not enjoy my job anymore, it would be that, but it would take quite a bit for, for me not to like this job. Yeah.